hello what's up everybody welcome back to another video from eTech viral so in this video we are going to learn how we can sign in our user using google authentication of firebase so in the recent videos we just learned how we can sign in our user and also sign up the user so before starting coding you have to add some dependencies in your pubspec.yml file that dependencies are flutter block and google sign in so you need to have these dependencies in your pubspec.yml file within these dependencies and next you need to have some more configuration in your firebase project so let's move to the browser and i have the previous project in which we have implemented the logic of sign in and sign up the user you can see the emails here so first thing you need to do is just to move to this sign in method and here press this add new provider and select this google and enable this switch and make sure to select your account here and press save so this will add a new provider in your firebase project the next thing you need to do in your firebase project just to go to the setting of your project and come all the way down and here you will see the SHA certificate fingerprints so you need to have these SHA fingerprints in your firebase project to sign in a user using google authentication so from where you can get these SHA certificate fingerprints there is a question mark if you see just hover on it and you will got this see this page now click this and this will navigate you to the google play services page now come a bit down here and you will see to get the debug certificate fingerprint you have to copy this code if you are using windows and also if you are using mac or linux so you have to copy this code so i am using windows so i will copy only this code and the remaining code i will write this so i will copy this that code is key tool hyphen list hyphen v and that code so i will move to my android studio open the terminal and here you have to write key tool hyphen list hyphen v and the code we have just copied so press ctrl v to paste it and simply enter so it will ask for the password so the default password of this key tool is android so you simply have to write android and make sure your caps lock is turned off after doing this press enter so this will give you the sha 256 and sha 1 so first let's copy this sha 256 and move to the browser and go back to your firebase project and here you will see the add fingerprint just click on it and press that sha you have copied and save we got sha 256 and now again go to the android studio and simply copy this sha1 also and again move to the browser add another fingerprint paste it and save just like this you have added your two sha in your firebase project so that will allow you to sign in a user using google auth so these are very important certificate you need to have these in your firebase project when you are sign in your user using google authentication and if you notice i got this sha 256 and sha 1 just by pasting this command here many people has this problem when first time they copy and paste the code here or directly in the cmd so they get error of that the key tool directory not found so for that what you need to do is just to download the latest version of java so by default this will be extracted in your c local disk in the program files and the java and that jre and bin so you simply have to copy this path that's where our key tool is located so when i click a file and on my keyboard when i press k so we got this key tool here so that's where our key tool is located so we simply have to copy this path and just search here environment edit the system environment and you will see this environment variables here click on it and you will see the path here select this and press this edit you will got this window on your screen add new and simply paste that path here in order to get this key tool 
everywhere when you are open your command prompt or powershell or anywhere so i already have this so i don't need to add this again if you are new and you don't have it so you need to do this configuration also so that was it for the shf fingerprint certificates and if you check the pubspec.yml file we add google sign in and flutter block the google sign in is for sign in a user with google and this flutter block is just for the state management solution so now let's use these libraries and sign in our user with google so we are on our previous project in which we have signed in and signed up our user using email and password let me open the emulator and we have this ui so now we are going to add another button right after this new to the application and that will be sign in with google on that button we will implement the logic to sign in our user with google so let's do it also go to the login page and come a bit down and right after this row put some size books here and right after this there will be an elevated button on pressed will be for a while like this and child will be simple text sign in with google just like this press ctrl s to hot reload and check out the emulator and we got the sign in with google button which is not working for now so now let's create our block qubit to separate that business logic from the ui code and in the presentation we will create another directory that name will be qubit there will be another directory google sign in just like this and inside this we will create the qubit class so if you don't know from where that qubit class is coming from if you are using android studio you simply have to move to this file settings and in this plugins just come to this marketplace and here just search for block and install this library with this you will get this block class and qubit class in your project so just like this now when i right click on it go to new and i got this qubit class so that's how you can get this qubit class click on it and here just give the name to your qubit that will be google sign in and simply ok it and open that directory we got two files in that directory one is google sign in stat and the second one is google sign in qubit we are not going to use that google sign in stat because there is nothing to load so anyways that's not a tutorial of qubit we will create video on that qubit and block in the future so anyways go to the google sign in qubit and here what you need to do is just to initialize your google sign in final google sign in will becomes equal to google sign in just like this and also let's correct it so after that you have to do google sign in account and that will be our user so this google sign in account keeps all the data like username email and user profile so and also make the getter method for that that will be google sign in account get user and user just like this and after that we will create a method which we will call in a bit on that elevated button so let's create it that will be a future method its name will be sign in with google async and open body so inside this there will be a final variable google user will be equal to google sign in dot sign in just like this and after that we will check the condition if google user was equal equal to null so we will return nothing and also after this equal to make it await just because that is a future method if you see future google sign in account and function so after that you have to do just to assign the google user account which is user that will becomes equal to our google user and we will create another variable which will be final google authentication this will be equal to google user and we will call from this google user that google authentication and here there will be 
credential equal to google auth provider dot credential and in that credential we will pass the id token from this google authentication dot id token and access token will be google authentication dot access token and there is an error just because we also have to await this the error will be gone and lastly we have to do await firebase auth instance dot sign in with credential and we will simply pass that credential here so our sign in with google method is successfully implemented and the next thing you have to do is just to go to your main and wrap this material app with the block provider and in that create this tag a context so this will be our google sign in qubit and remove this block from here and also import the flutter block after this go to the login page and on that elevated button we will do final provider equal to block provider we are just providing that block or a qubit dot of context and here the generic type of that block will be google sign in qubit we have just created here that class and after this put semicolon here and from that provider we will call the method sign in with google we just created in a while and we also can separate this logic from the ui by implementing the sign in user and sign up user just here so if you want it and you want to separate that logic from the ui so you can do it freely again move to the login page and hot restart application to reset everything open your emulator and if you are using genymotion just like me so make sure you have installed this open g apps otherwise this google sign in will not work in your emulator device or if you are using real device so that will be great so now press this sign in with google so this will open a pop up window that is choose an account to continue flutter firebase auth so i have this account i will select this and it will take a bit time so the user is signed in with google so that navigate us to the home page so you can see my email is here now and if i show you in the browser go to the browser and back to this authentication tab and you can see we have just signed in our user with google you can see the provider here with that email and our user is signed in with google and his email is also here and we are on our home page and also from here you can log out this user log out and we have log out from here and again if you want to log in so simply again press this sign in with google so this will directly log in your email with google and your email will come here it's directly log in now it didn't pop up any menu to select an email just because now our email is saved in our authentication of firebase so that's why it directly logged in here so that's how you can sign in your user using google authentication of firebase so i hope i have cleared all your confusions about this and again let me tell you the important thing go to the browser and in the project settings make sure you have this sha fingerprint certificates so just to avoid many unhandled exceptions in your flutter application so that was it for the video i hope this was helpful if so show some love in the comment section and also let me know if something is not clear to you and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any future updates and videos like this for now goodbye and i will see you in the next video